Black Box Productions. Come smoke one with us. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come smoke one with us. Neighborhood. Show us a blessing. Me here this morning and blow us a session. Like we always do about now. Appreciate y'all that had tapped in with me last night on that little shockery tap in like like do like like all schedule do like do like I think I like that nighttime do like do like on my mama mama do like might have to like get with that on a more consistent like on my mama mama. I think I might apply that model no days off to this situation right here too. Whether they all be wake and bake or some be late night nuggets. You dig it lies. Might as well partake in getting that daily bread. Uh, typically when you have a job, depending on how hungry you are working every day, is something that <clears throat> you either look forward to or you... Um, run from just based on the fact that you want to relax and I think to be blessed enough to be able to work from home I think I don't want to consider myself spoiled or lazy too lazy and spoiled or satisfied to like take a day off I think it's a blessing to be able to get it in this fashion so bottom line y'all might start seeing a lot more of me on oh, my mama mama i'll make it interesting though i'm not gonna just keep jumping in your face with the same exact thing hence you see the developments from the white walls until now um got a green screen so maybe when we tap in at night we'll give it a different look um, what order that hasn't come yet once i once it arrives i'll play with it figure out some different things we can do and switch it up at nighttime on my mama, mama, you dig a lies. I so appreciate y'all for taking this ride with me thus far, though. Rendition, the act of, result of rendering something such as a performance or interpretation of something. Rendition. Um, a lot of people have podcasts or platforms on the internet. The black box is my rendition. Um, I feel proud of the fact that as I move around the community these days and I bump into my peers, strangers, uh, of all the things that could possibly be said when uh, I bump into them, the first thing out of the majority of their mouth is, I fucked your uh, podcast. And for me to even be able to say I have a podcast, it's like an honor. And it kind of like, just speaks to the creativeness of my personality and others like me that to where you can on accident create something that others view as something professional. It's kind of like the whole essence of hip hop. You know, they were taking um, turntables that were utilized for something else and turned it into a billion dollar industry by just being creative. And cause like going live is definitely an American, if not a world, uh, a worldly tradition or a practice at this point, we're so just about, of course, it's not 100%, but it's closest to 100% you can imagine any one activity be. Almost 100% of Americans have gone live or go live on a regular basis. And if they didn't do it themselves, perhaps they were at a home when someone else went live and they were thereby live as well because you know if you're older you're not really with it don't know nothing about it but then someone younger in the home goes on on a holiday or something to show somebody out of town what's going on or whatever and there, there you are on the live so a lot of times whether you oh man i mean, I, I just want to do that y'all my bad i really ain't had it really had to but i just try to make sure we get as much logos many logos in the background as possible but you know you participate on the live and then you can turn it into a uh uh, uh, income situation. It's a beautiful thing, and I, it's it's crazy to imagine 
<laughs> I, I really laugh like sometime when you know involved in the trolling or somebody call themselves trying to sh on a nigga on the internet and they call me a blogger, right? On my mama, my mama, when I start doing this on a considered base on a uh, regular basis, I had no idea it was considered blogging, right? I just thought I was going live on my mama, mama. <laughs> but like blogger is an official title, profession. So once again, on accident, a nigga did something that would be considered professional and established. And I just, uh, I'm grateful not only for the experience, the opportunity, um, it's a beautiful thing. You stay with the gems, low, always keeping it a Google. Salute to the black box. Hey, salute back from the black box. Bay Machiavelli, VJ Keyway, back to y'all. Cause like, this is one of the most um, documented um, situations of my life. Everything else that I worked on or experienced from start to finish or I'm still in the middle of, I have to do a lot of, if I would like to share the experience with you, I would have to do a lot of giving you an account of things that you did not witness. However, exactly what took place as far as the black box from conception to this day, and when I mean from conception, I mean prior to being black box, ooh, how metaphoric is that? Um, especially as black, you know, I mean brown, but black individuals. Um, everyone starts off as white. When you think about once your father bust that, you know what I'm saying? It all starts off white. And then for us at the finish line, young black male. So it was like a birth. Came out white with the white walls. And then I have to say this verse because when I met Ice Cube, this is probably one of his least popular verses to date. And I know tons of his more popular verses by heart as well as I know this. But when I finally met him after a lifetime of him being my favorite rapper, this is the verse that I was motivated to say to him, to shock him. Like most niggas, you think when you finally meet Ice Cube, you're going to say some of your own raps. But I've never had a fan moment comparable to not uh, when I met Ice Cube. Years later when I met Mozzie, and I know a lot of people might see them on two different ends of the spectrum, but maybe I'll lace y'all up in the long run um, in my life why that would be the, the two ends of the spectrum for me. Um, but when I finally met Cube, this is the verse. Dang, this means a lot to me now. This is the verse that I spit to him. And now I've kind of like watched this black box go through the same process that uh, he rapped about in this verse. Let the flood to the porch and the fame blue, but it's orange up in here. Oh, wow, 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 but good looking, I appreciate that D. That nigga Q said, I was told cause I didn't witness the whole act. In and out was the movement of the Bozak. It was hot and sweaty with lots of pushing. Then the nut came gushing. It was hell trying to bail to the ovaries with nothing but the Lord looking over me. I was white with a tail. But when I hit the finish line, young black male. One cell makes two and two cells make four. It's on. So now I'm an embryo and I got a hunch that I'm going to be on lockdown for nine months chilling with my mother to guide me and nothing but a stomach to hide me. From all that worry and bullshit, nine months later, I elbow pull and kick. Cause my time is up and I don't care with one big push. I'm out of there June 15th, it's just my luck. In 1969, a nigga is the product. And nigga said, I was white with a tail. But when I hit the finish line, young black male. It was white on the walls. But when we hit the finish line, black box, y'all. Oh, my mama, mama, the product. Yeah, oh, my mama, mama. Like, that's the beautiful lines right there on everything. There's a difference. I just have no idea what it is. Blogger, vlogger. I think blog is type, and I think, uh, or no, or voice. And I think vlog is includes a visual. I'm starting to learn a lot of times in this technical inter internet word, V, um, indicates visual video that's just it's like vj dj 
DJs, they typically put music into rotation. Okay, a VJ, like VJ Keyway, puts music into rotation accompanied with a visual. So that's what the V, if you kind of like learn the language in general, you could kind of like learn the fine hints here and there. But, um, and I'm not certain that vlog and blog, the, 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 you can differentiate them by video and, and the lack thereof, but I am assuming, and I may be wrong, you might, anybody can research that. We got a lot of people in here that probably could uh, research that. What up, cuz? So, you know, my intuition, my intelligence leads me to believe he contacted the person he made the watch for, and I got a fake watch in return. Yeah, he mad Floyd went in on him. He should, I mean, he should need to shut up his mouth and stay out of everybody's business. Can't get mad when you're running around poking your nose in everybody's business like a bitch. That's what bitches do, my nigga. Oh, my mama. Niggas don't know. I was around 50 when he first started talking to Floyd on the, on the telephone. And he's like a big old faggot, so happy to be talking to Floyd on the speakerphone, letting everybody hear what he say. Couldn't start buying cars and shit till he start talking to Floyd on the phone. First, you to get a speech about you don't buy that type of shit because it lose. And all it does is depreciate. Got to talking to Floyd on the phone. Next thing you know, he want to buy cars. That's what Nip Hustle. Big shout out to my nigga SPI, Spotter Low. You know, I'm in the black box. Had to come through, tap in, show love one time. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Stay tuned. All right.